this question number three then. An open top box has total s external surface area of 8 square metres. Show that the surface area of the outside of the box is given by that equation. 2x squared plus 3xy equals 8. So what we need to do is come up with an expression for the surface area. So we're looking to try and see where this comes from. And then we can say that equals 8 because we're told that the, that the surface area is 8. So we're trying to express what a box will look like, how we'd find the surface area of a box, uh, assigning x and y to some of the values. So let's sketch what the box will look like, an open top box. If we sketch the box, we can see, first of all, if we think about the xy, the 3xy, then that must be this side, the side opposite it, and the bottom. So that must be x, the height must be x, and the length must be y, so the times them together get x, y, and I've got three of those, the two sides and the bottom. Yeah. And then I've got also on top of that, x squared for the two end, for one end. So the other dimension, this dimension must be x2. x times x gives us x squared. And I've got two of those, the two ends, so that's where this comes from. So this is the sort of shape of the box. It's a square-ended box, x times x, and length y, to give us this expression for the surface area of the box. Yeah. Part B says, show how this leads to the following expression for the volume of the box in terms of x only. Well, if we think about... An expression for the volume of the box. Here's the box. What will that volume be? There's the box underneath. What will the volume of that be in terms of x and y? The volume of the box is given by x squared, the area of the end, times the length, y. What we now have to do is try and get rid of y in this expression. We want the volume in terms of x only. And so what I need to do now is rearrange uh, one of these formulas for y and substitute, substitute that in instead of y in this formula. So take this formula, rearrange it for y, and then put that expression in instead of y in here, and see if you can get that to look like this. Okay, so pause in the video. You can see if you can do that. So, here's my expression for the surface area. I want to rearrange this for y. So subtract 2x squared, and I get 3xy equals 8 minus 2x squared. Then I divide both sides by the 3x to get rid of that, to leave this. So this expression... 8 minus 2x squared over 3x is going to go into this formula instead of the y for volume. So I rewrite the volume formula and put in 8 minus 2x squared over 3x instead of y to get this. Now I've got the volume only in terms of x, which is what I was after. But at some point we're going to want to differentiate this, so let's try and simplify it and get it to two separate terms, which is what the rest of it's about. So, I can think of this as x squared into 8 minus 2x squared all over 3x, which is this line, which means I can actually cancel out 1x top and bottom, leaving this. Volume equals x brackets 8 minus 2x squared over 3, this line here. Then I multiply out the brackets and separate out the fractions because it's all over 3. I can end up with this which is the expression we're given. So now we've got this expression for the volume of a box and we've confirmed it. In the exam, of course, this would be an extra question. Can you show where this comes from? But you've got the expression, the equation, so at least you can now go ahead, even if you can't do that, and do the next bit, which is asking you to differentiate it. So if you get stuck on one bit, don't just give up. You might be able to do the next bit. Differentiate this expression for the volume of the box with respect to x. So I've just got to differentiate this um, with respect to x. So
So think of it as just 8 thirds of x minus 2 thirds of x cubed. So to differentiate that, I'd use the notation dv by dx. The differential of volume with respect to x is 8 thirds, because the x disappears, minus, bringing the 3 down, 3 to the 6 thirds x squared, and 6 over 3 is 2. So this means we end up with this for an expression for the differential. So, that's part C done. Part D. Show how we can use this to find the maximum volume of the box. How do we find the maximum volume? If in the exam I'm asking you to find maximum or million values, then as we discussed already, that's the point at which the differential equals zero. So, we let dv by dx equal zero, and then find the value of x. Find x at this point, and then when we've got that, we put this in. the original function to find the maximum volume or to find the volume we follow those steps we let the differential equal zero we use that to find x and then once we've got x plug that back into the original form to find that maximum volume so let's try this out then. So dv by dx, the differential is 8 over 3 minus 2x squared. So step 1, let dv by dx equal 0. And it can't, ha can't harm to write that down. Because at least I know what you're trying to do is the right thing. You're trying to let dv by dx equal 0, so you're finding the maximum. So 8 over 3 minus 2x squared equals 0. So now we solve it. We add 2x squared to both sides, so 8 over 3 equals 2x squared. Divide by those by 2, so 8 over 6 equals x squared. No. Nope. So x turns out to be the square root of 4 thirds, which is... This equals 0 0.67 to two significant figures, but don't forget, positive or negative. Correction, plus or minus 1.15. Three significant figures. But we're going to ignore the negative result, because remember, x is the length of the box. So we cannot have a negative x. Negative value makes no sense. And so think about that in the exam. We're often only interested in, not always, but we're often only interested in the positive values because they're the only ones that are going to make sense when we're thinking, talking about dimensions. So therefore, x equals 1.15. And I think we're talking about centimetres. Yeah, in fact, metres, because the original question talks about the surface area of 8 square metres. So x equals 1.15 metres. So this is the value of x that gives us the maximum volume. So all we have to do now is to put that value of x back into the original function to find v. So volume is 8 thirds of x minus 2 thirds of x cubed. So putting that value of x in, we should work out the volume, should be able to work out the volume. Uh, volume turns out to be about 2.05 cubic metres and that's the maximum volume of the box so if we let x equal 1.15 metres that gives us the maximum volume 